you've touched on that a little bit and in, in, on how to change the, you know, our, our thinking, but you know, how do, how do people do that? You know, everything now is convenience and, and people want convenience. We're all busy. We're all going here and there and doing different things. And it's convenient to, to stop and pick up these foods that, that you, we've talked about. How do you change the mindset of someone who's 20 years old, 30 years old, who thinks, ah, you know, I'm, that's not going to happen to me? Right. Well, it's education. And then you have to change society. You know, I don't know about you, but I know that me, just because um, if you go to a party and the cocaine is there and convenient, doesn't mean I'm going to take the cocaine. You know, if you, if you know things, if you know right. french fries and, and hot dogs, increased risk of cancer and death, you're going to just take it because it's convenient? I don't understand that way of thinking. I don't even understand the question. You know, if you know that these things are so dangerous, why would you do it? Now, I'm not saying you're going to change everybody. everybody. I'm not saying my, my expectation is to change everybody, but my expectation is that everybody should be properly informed and properly taught, whether it's our school systems. I mean, I need support. I'm on a mission. And the mission is to in give people the informed consent they need to know that they know they don't have to have heart attacks and strokes and they don't have to get these cancers and dementia that everybody else is getting. And if they want to still do that lifestyle and still want to take that risk, they have that right. But don't you think that people should have the right information so they can make that choice for themselves? They shouldn't think that smoking cigarettes is good for them and then get lung cancer, they should know if they want to smoke cigarettes they're taking a major risk with lung cancer or heart attack risk. Then they don't mind if they smoke because they were properly informed. If you want to live the fast food lifestyle and take your chances and maybe having a heart attack at age 50 or maybe being demented in a nursing home, depending, how you, depending on your family to care for you in later years, it was a horrible life and have the tubes put in the orifices of your body back and forth to doctors. If you think that's the quality of life you want, go ahead and eat that way. But you should at least know the risks you're taking and you should know the futility of modern medicine to really to do anything about it once you incurred those risks. This idea that, oh, I can eat whatever I want and doctors are going to save me, I'm going to take these statin drugs, these blood pressure medications, and I'm going to be okay and I can eat, you know, it's all just a, a, a smoke and mirrors. The, the benefits are minimal and the real power is in your own hands.